Live from Fox 13 Studios, this is Fox 13 News at 9. First on Fox 13, some Utah postal workers are opening up tonight. They say post office managers are forcing employees to falsify delivery information on your packages. It's a follow-up to a story we first brought you last night about residents frustrated with postal service problems. In a story you will only see here on Fox 13, Lauren Steinbrecher explains why these postal workers say it's happening and why they think nothing is being done to fix it. Lauren? Right, so the issue is, has to do with packages that are being marked as delivered but then not actually being delivered to people's houses until one to a few days later. Not only do customers say it's frustrating for them, these postal worker employees we talk to say it's a sign of a bigger problem at the U.S. Postal Service. We all know that feeling. The alert to package has arrived, but in checking the porch and mailbox, it's not there. It says it's delivered, and I have that panic of, like, did my package get stolen? Did it get delivered to the wrong person? Candace Benyon says this happened with three packages recently, all marked delivered, but only one arrived. I was like, what do I do? But they eventually did show up. Eventually, as in a couple days later, after the USPS said the boxes were delivered. What she experienced in West Valley we showed you on Tuesday is apparently happening in other places like Harriman. It was marked as delivered. I just got the email confirmation. Nothing. Customers complained to carriers about it. Where's our package? Where's our package? The real answer, they say. It could be on some dock, not even being distributed for delivery that day. Two USPS Salt Lake District employees who will remain anonymous to protect their jobs say managers tell employees to falsely scan packages as delivered. A lot of the scans when they come in in the mornings, um, they'll just line up the packages and start scanning. Or they say the worker might scan it as not delivered but input a fake reason for it. They're being scanned as a business being closed if it's a residence or a receptacle blocked when the receptacle in fact wasn't blocked things of that nature. They say it's been like this for quite some time. We even did a story on these same accusations last year. Why are they doing it? The employees say it comes down to keeping up on delivery reports and manager salaries. In order for them to meet their numbers and be compensated for their salary, they have to meet certain delivery expectations. And when they fail that, their compensation is, is obviously taken away from them. Postal workers say managers want to meet the delivery requirements, but those on the ground think it's just not possible, especially during the holidays. We are understaffed. We don't have the resources that we need. We don't have vehicles. We don't have employees. It's purely 100% poor management. Combine all of that together and they explain it's a setup for failure, unless they fake delivery notifications leaving customers confused and wondering what happened. Uh, we did reach out to the U.S. Postal Service yesterday and again today. They told us after yesterday's story aired that any customers with problems can report those issues a few different ways by phone and by email. Now, when we asked them about what these carriers are claiming is happening behind the scenes, we did not hear back. Live in Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.